back when um, I told my father I was going to law school, he quickly said that I would make a fine judge because he says, you do not show emotion in your face. And uh, I uh, did not understand it then or did not try to understand it. Uh, but years later, I understood that's, that's because I've been an actor most of my life. I was walking down the street, and this cop came behind me, and a bunch of dudes called me a faggot. I told him I wasn't no faggot. And then I picked up me a brick. And, and hit, it hit the car, so they get after me. I got my teeth knocked out, two of my teeth. How did the police uh, handle the whole incident? They handled it like I was homosexual. I had to go to jail, and the boys get out. I'm sure I was not the only person at Sullins, having a relationship with another young woman. And when, in the second year that I was there, the patrol caught me in another woman's room and said, you have to go before the council and all of this stuff because this, this isn't done. And I thought to myself, what's the matter with these people? You know, this is just somebody I love. I didn't designated anything, but so naive, you know. My sister-in-law, later on, uh, I was riding, she was riding in the car with me by ourselves, and she is the one member of our family that I really felt I could speak to frankly. And so I told her, I said, I guess you know that Al and I or a couple, we're gay. And she said, oh yes, I knew that all along. <laughs> and so from then on, I could talk freely with her. And um, she said, everybody in the family considers you a couple. And there's no need to, to feel ashamed. <laughs>